The Delay Show, brought to you by Yaz Sanitary Pad. Delay Macro, delay to multipaste, smooch, and Vodafone. I thought we were friends. All of a sudden, they start to pretend. Never judge them, never judge them, but they cover again. Cause that's just the nature of other men. Suroni Pajasama, Pajasama. They want to sit up for my happiness. But who you bless? No one cares, yeah. Who you bless? Yachia Adofo. Na yeah, TV stations no presenters at a chowro and a mean said that you jump on your reading yanko pan shada as so many say we bring TV a guo or man or magic TV and some funny in sima pom as well would mean say a fear delay meaning yanko pon this hang on a de asrame talent oja tana it is a TS to say a com and ye easy call my buffo me no no eh eh na voda fun for so so the all the market se pa wo so wo the vim asem de nie wo the contract ke se pa na e ma do for e ba vim no so no no wo fa ni serious sue ni ye wo sue t-shirt printing ni ye voda fun sa fi we t-shirt a wo printing no person wo dem a so wa gya to mu ni je hu sa wo person sa contract e dem a dial e and as send the yes y e s fa ko 02012790170 a year zero two zero one two seven nine zero one seven. Now, I say vision emotional. Ye 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 to two year nine you. It's two year nine the queen in one and a sir. What's so sober to me? I'm making am vim de ye basma. Sempetia, Vodafone cash a hontono. E dino nene honam se. A honto, e mo a honto. E ye si kana wode mani adofo, wode bi e tue tue a kano mani adie. Kane no, o ye ya, si ka kitwe bi kwa na ya ti sri, ni a ti teku, ni a san te kapre mani e fitim. Ba se se, di a wache ne se, si kane sende, 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 fe tue tue, bo so me tre gana pe. A honto bo mo, inti no fene se Vodafone cash a hontono. Wa o maso ne ne yi, kwa niye registra o. Na da le sta wa wan zero hash. Na en semo no, diya kregi nan susu no. Ye mfa en tuwa so, na ye mfa mao. Na wa chi yi, kwa o maye bo fwo, dile. Me kwa Instagram. Na mene na mwa, na me kopi ye video bi. Na ude eni kan ye video no first. Video number share na mi hu as a space kakra as a swag kakra as a nyomo nso koso. Now here even facial expression. Let me say this guy has not retired in his mind. In that dream, you know, he's still on the park. Let me say still defend the capital. No, so when I pay madam for, but me say yes. One no, one year in that dream so I am re. Inti. Hey, everybody, me put me a man capo. Me hear video, me hear him say, hey, Rade. Hey, soldier never die. And I guess I don't know. Oh, soldier never die. Wow. Fire, fire, fire. Ah, Charlie, why you not here? Masa masa make you can disturb me at the play game. Anyo na wo see if he has one way. Wo fi train him ba. Wo be train me ko. Wo be train Jenny tomato se. Wo me to delay my grand. Wo go matter do kuna kama manedi. Yeah, wo chira wo papa. Masa wo kan. Me me kan chira wo kono she no an kuchia atre. An to tomato sauce no sa no me size cream. Masa wo te se jola deko. Masa wo kan iho. Delay mackerel in tomato sauce. Nampa don peni mu.
Play sardine. Peche. Like that. Princess Shingle, Enna hey. Waba. Now, my catch and I saw her no be wasting me time. I'm sorry, Uncle, because I don't have time. And I say, Oh, you're back, Cassie. I'm so key. Cassie, dear, me paint, you know. She's welcome to the show, Princess. Mm -hmm. Yes. At the same. Hey, yeah. You're Gambian. Yeah, I'm a Gambian. Oh, yeah, full Gambian. 100% Gambian. When was the next time I will sign back Ghana? The next you? time in Ghana was in 2012. It was in 2012. Then I had finished um, the next movie, Star Africa. Mm -hmm. um, so um, I came to Gambia to produce a film. Uh, with a filmmaker. You came called, to Ghana? Yeah, I came to Ghana mm -hmm. um, to produce a film um, with a producer called T Plus. Mm -hmm. um, it was a movie I wrote. Mm -hmm. um, it was titled The Hidden Fantasy mm -hmm. um, and it featured John Dumelo, um, Juliette Ibrahim, mm -hmm. um, Mata Ankoma. So, yeah, I came to Ghana for about three weeks to do that film. Okay. And, and then I went back. Okay. So, you were more of commuting? Yeah. Not Oko, Waba. Yes. Okay. Yeah. It's it, when I finally Oba Ghana, like. Finally, huh? Um, let's say in two, late 2014, going on okay. 15, yeah. This was like four years ago. Three, three years three, ago. Three, four. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. Wabagana, mm -hmm. 2014, like yeah. you said. Yeah. You rented an apartment, right? Or I was home? living in a hotel for a while before I rented an apartment. You were living in a hotel for yeah. how long? Um, because I come back and forth. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'll be in Ghana for three weeks. Mm -hmm. I'll go back. Be in Ghana for a month, I go back. Mm -hmm. But then late 2014, I rented um, uh, yeah, an apartment in West Ligon. West Ligon. Yeah. Uh, how many rooms? It was four. What do you need four rooms for? Well, let's say then I was very stupid. Okay. You know, I, I had money, um, a little bit younger, and I was just... I was just you know, just doing stupid things. So I, I saw the house. I loved the house. How I, much were they taking a month? The house was, I think, $800 a month. $800 yes, a month. Yes, and I paid and you for were a year. And there alone? All by myself, and yeah. how did you make this money at that time? Okay, I worked for Coca-Cola. Mm -hmm. um, before Coca-Cola, at the age of 16, when I just graduated from high school, I, I, I opened my own company, which was a Princess Promotions. So I did a lot of top, top, top events in the Gambia. Mm -hmm. I bring big artists from Senegal to perform in my country. I organized beauty pageants, the Gambian king and queen. You know, I did parties, into school parties and stuff like that. And because um, I was in Gambia, I didn't, I didn't have much to do with my money. So it was all stacked. You know, um, I don't pay for fuel because I always have vouchers from my dad. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I had a so car. So it's money you made? It's, it's my own money. Your yes, own money? Yes, and plus, obviously, my dad. Your yeah. dad, okay. Mm -hmm. So... Now, this four-bedroom house, I'll be renting, was mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh, West Hills. Yeah, well, no, Westland. West Legon, Westland, yeah. Westland, you know. Mm -hmm. Is it uh, where you're staying? No, 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 no. I, I let go of the house about six, seven months ago. I, I let go of the house, and I also sold my Porsche as well. And now I live in a single room. A single self room. Self-contained, yeah. Okay. And how much NIN also cost it? That one is uh, 400 CDs. A month? Yeah. Nadia is known for Mommy's Daughter. Yeah. Yvonne Nelson is known for Princess Tyra. Tyra and, yeah. you know, Obi yeah. in the movie. Yeah. But with you, do you think there's a breakout movie like that? Um, well, I believe so. Which one is that? Um, which was um, Why Should I Get Married? Okay. Yes. Why Should I Get Married just launched me out there as an actress. Okay. And then people get to notice my physique and mm -hmm. which got me more attention because mm -hmm. I can remember before why should I get married I barely had up to a thousand followers okay but the night after the premiere of why should I get married by the time I woke up I had over 10,000 followers okay yes but uh, would you agree say it, this why should I get married I woke up mm -hmm. it wasn't necessarily like a, a big movie yeah. it was a big movie it's the first time I'm hearing. Okay, of okay, this. okay. Like a big, big, huge, huge movie. Every man go for who, mm -hmm. but Ube agree say the attention you 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 got, yeah, or you've gotten, yeah, a mostly uh -huh. about the size of your waist. Well, you, to an extent, yeah. If you, if you think so, not I think so. I'm yeah. asking if you you agree with me I to mean, an extent. I, I honestly doubt that. On blogs, yes. 
Oba agree. Yes, I'm blessed. So, wo, wo, West has given you more attention than your career, your acting career. No. You don't want to agree. No, I don't. I don't agree. You don't I do, agree. I don't agree. No. Okay. Because yeah, without my career, I wouldn't be here today. I wouldn't be where I am. You understand? Okay. I, I, I don't. I don't think. Because it's, a lot it's... of people know you for your waist than your career. Yeah, but a lot of people also know me for my movies than my waist. Okay. Yeah. So a uh, debatable. Yes. Again. Yeah. But yeah, let's come back to waist, you know. Yeah. Okay. But... Let's get back to the waist. <laughs> <laughs> There's also this whole this same social media yeah? mm -hmm. pictures of. I mean, before and after pictures mm -hmm. of waist when you were much bigger mm -hmm. and then time uh, over here. Smaller. Smaller. Yeah. So how old picture? No? Mm -hmm. When was this? When was it taken? Um, well, there is a picture of me in a purple I dress. Think I, yes, you are in a purple dress. Yes. First of all, that picture, the original picture of it, um, I, I don't know where it is really, mm -hmm. but that particular picture, I was not that size. Whoever did that photo collage photoshopped me to look bigger because if you look at it you see that my arms looked like fat like this mm -hmm. my tummy it, it just didn't add up so someone took that picture mm -hmm. photoshopped it to make me look bigger you okay, understand let's say, say a photoshop umpire. yes yes were but you that picture... always this uh, small as okay. far as your waist is concerned yes always always if always you see a, um, like, since the thing you is born... that it's no like i was a skinny girl mm -hmm. right growing up in mm -hmm. school, I think um, a week ago or two weeks ago, I even posted a picture of myself on prom mm -hmm. when I was 16 years old. Mm -hmm. And the first thing, if you go on the comments, there were over 100 comments. Everyone was like, your waist right there. So you've always had this waist. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. The only thing is that, yes, I've added weight now. I've cinched, I've cinched my waist with waist trainers. Mm -hmm. But without the waist trainers, my waist is normal like it was before. And waist training, uh, mm -hmm. kind of, why, why are you waist training for how long? I've been waist training since 2014. 14, uh, yeah. for four, three, four years. Yeah, three, four years. And what different thing, mm -hmm. Anna, we hear with waist trainer, uh -huh. Emma, was uh, stomach, you know, it look extremely small because they are not the only person who waist does trace. waist training. Yes. Yeah. So what's the different thing you do with your, your waist trainer? You know, um, I tend to tell people that everybody's body is different. Okay. Um, you, the, the, your waist, mm -hmm. you understand, it's determined by your, by your, by your ribs. Mm -hmm. If you have big, broad ribs, you understand, mm -hmm. and you want your waist to be as tiny as mine, it's not going to work. Okay. You understand, because you already have a physique. Mm -hmm. you, you can't be like me. I can't be like you. Okay. You understand? So, um, like people are like, so oh. So your ribs are different from the normal person's ribs. Is that no, what you're well, I have, intimating? No, but I think I have a normal person with ribs, but everybody has different shapes, different um, rib sizes. Okay. Everybody has different ribs, um, <laughs> different waist sizes. Okay, so you're, you're not doing anything different with the waist trainer? Okay? I mean, I waist train all the time. Mm. I detox. I, I work out. I eat clean. Waist training for me is, okay, like as I'm sitting here right now, all I've had all day was just um, fruits, an apple, um, uh, an apple, a slice of pineapple, and a banana since mm -hmm. morning. Mm -hmm. And I'm not even hungry. You understand? Why is it not reflecting on other parts of your body, but waist? Pay? Yeah, because I am training the waist. Okay. I'm training it. Right now, my, if, I, if, if I remove my waist. Because if you bring up the issue training. of diet, yeah, mm -hmm. then if you are dieting, it should show on your face and everything. Yeah, but I, I am I'm healthy. I'm not, I don't have flabby but arms. I don't have chubby. My face has always been chubby. Okay. I have a round, chubby face. That's me. Even when I was skinny. Um, this is it's, how my You are saying is. that it's waist training. I'm a waist. That's it's, what you're saying. That is exactly yeah, what I'm saying. And you've done it for four years. I've done it for four years. Okay. Yeah. There was a time. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, picture a bit to social media. You said that mm -hmm. when your kidney disease, that mm -hmm. was the English you wrote. Yeah, yeah. What kidney disease was that? Okay, um, first of all, it wasn't a kidney disease. It was a bladder infection. But you wrote kidney disease. Yes, I did. It was a mistake. Because I was at the hospital, right? It was a mistake? It was a mistake. I put hashtag kidney disease. Okay. But it was actually a bladder infection. Could it be that it wasn't kidney disease or bladder infection, mm -hmm. but you actually went and did fat transfer yes. or rib removal, removal to correct your body? <laughs> No, absolutely not. And you have never gone under the knife? N not yet, no. I've never. There is nothing in my body that will tell you I've gone under the knife. No. Okay. Until now, all on record, say, any form of procedure, 
I a what waste? No, nothing. Absolutely not. Absolutely nothing. Mm -mm. Okay, you see, you see, I know the way I wear your phone, or the tear, no, like your tummy is like this, really small. Yeah, because I'm wearing a waist trainer right okay, now. Okay, so why is your your kidney? Everything is intact. Just yesterday, I was at the hospital. Okay, you know, I do, I scan my body, I do tests, STDs, see, and all of that. So. Like your oh, kidney, eh, what he? Why is your intestine? Delay. Everything is intact. So where, right it, where, where does it go to? Where, it passes through everywhere it passes through. And now I would deal with both through with chipping in the eye. Like, where is it? It's all inside. Everything is inside. I'm okay. perfectly okay. Because it's like when you take a picture, I said, because of the way you've, you know, compressed your terminal. You know, pictures are all about angles, right? Come on, but before I select a picture, I'll probably have taken maybe a hundred. I saw a picture of you yesterday wearing like some pants. Be mm -hmm. I said it's like a bikini or something. Mm -hmm. I'm at one home where it's in thing. What like your from your navel to your my JJ? It looks like abnormally long or something, really elongated. Okay, okay. It's like, I saw that like picture. Your, your womb has pushed down to your wherever it is. No, 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 no. Okay, no, I'm, I'm okay. Don't I look normal to you, girl? I'm okay. Seriously. Good. I'm good. I'm perfectly okay. Okay. My womb is intact. My kidneys, everything is intact. I'm a perfectly normal, healthy human being. Okay. Yeah. And who can say you're going to have a baby? Yeah, I will have a baby. Where is the baby going to stay? You find out. You see, right here. <laughs> <laughs> right here. So when you get pregnant, yeah. what? Your tummy will become big? Of course. Okay, and uh, after that, you go back woman. to waist training. I'll definitely so go back to waist training. So your womb will be there for the baby to stay inside? Yeah, it will be there. And whose son will, will impregnate you? Whose son? Yeah. Why do you have a baby? Because the baby says, I cry now, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Where is the baby going to stay? We'll find out when the time comes. You see. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> so you took to mm -hmm. Insta Story. Yeah. And Obertro said 99% of 99.9% .9 of the men you had been with mm -hmm. couldn't satisfy you sexually. Yeah. So when I saw it, I was like, so 99%, 99.9% there of what number? How many men? About six, seven, yeah. Six, seven. Mm -hmm. And these six, seven, no? Mm -hmm. Mike Lacey and Kawana. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Where did Mike Lacey come from? Yeah, because he, you were publicly... Wow. Kissing him and stuff at Cheska's pub. Wow. Not so long ago. I wasn't kissing him. You were kissing him. He was kissing. Which I, you guys were kissing. In public, for that matter. <sighs> okay. Fine. I dated him. Didn't you know he was married? No, I had no idea he was married. He, you didn't ask him? I had no reason to ask him because I never saw a wedding ring on his finger. And there was obviously no pictures of him and any woman on his social media. So I assumed that he was a single man. And what kind of relationship now the two of you had? Like a relationship. Proper relationship. Yeah, very proper relationship. Or your boyfriend, girlfriend. Yes. Okay. And, yeah. and are you guys still together? Technically, no. Why? What happened? Um, what happened was um, I got to find out that he was married, and that was a deal breaker for me. So you I asked left. him. Um, I didn't ask him. I was um, publicly. Obviously, we were out in public. You clearly knew about it, uh, which was a very dumb move. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, we were out in public, and um, I got contacted by some people, and you know, they told me, "Do you know he's married?" And then I decided to Google, and I find out that I found out that he was and. Yeah, that, so that why didn't you Google right from the get go? Because I, I don't Google people when I, I don't I don't like Googling people. I don't Google myself and um, I don't even like it when people Google me because most of the things about me on Google are all lies and so made up stuff. So when you were dating him, what were you expecting? Like marriage or no, what, see, what, what, what uh, were you getting out of it? Love? Yeah. I got I got love out of it. He told you he loved you. <laughs> yeah, we loved each other. For how long now in the quals? About a year. About a year. Mm -hmm. And don't you think admission way you no know, is gonna put a strain on his I mean mind? he was my boyfriend. It's just rather unfortunate that he's he's popular and I am popular as well. 
Um, so that's why it's probably a big deal. But I am human and he's human as well. You okay. understand? Um, yeah, it, it happened. I, he was my boyfriend. And is he the only footballer you've... Um... He's the only footballer I have had a thing with, yes. You don't talk to any footballer? I don't think so. <laughs> because I have my sources. I know you talk to some other footballers. Okay. Who? Adebayo. Well, yeah, I talk to him. What do you guys talk about? I mean, he's a gorgeous guy. He's a good-looking guy. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, uh, yeah, we, 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 we talk about stuff. Like? Dating someday. I don't know. You, you, have you given it a thought? You think you could date him? Yeah, I mean, he's a gorgeous guy, and I think he's single. I mean, yet to Google him, but okay. yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. You didn't learn anything from the Asian experience? You won't check and see? Well, I will check and see. What of D-Black? Yeah, I dated D-Black. You dated him? Yeah. For how long? For almost two years. Was he part of the 1% or 99%? <laughs> there is no way on earth I'm going to get into that. No, okay. I'm not going to talk about that. You didn't know D-Black has a baby mother he has three children with? I know he had a baby mama. And um, at and the you time... Don't know they are I still together? No. At the time, I know he had two kids. Okay. Um, he lived alone. I was literally almost at his house. And as far as I was concerned, they were not together. Well, that's what he told me. I don't know, Nini Jai, why did you break up with him? Why did I break up? Well, I mean, in as much as Black was an amazing guy, um, he was not always faithful to me. Mm -hmm. And um, the point I decided to walk out of the relationship was, um, I can remember he was in America buying um, um, some things for his new club, which I was not in support of. Mm -hmm. um, I was not in support of him having a nightclub because I was a very jealous person, and he cheated on me a few times, and I felt... Him having a nightclub is him being close to girls all the time. Mm -hmm. So I wasn't in support of it at mm -hmm. all. So I did say some hurtful things to him, you know, just to discourage him. And then um, when I knew he wasn't backing out, I just, I just stopped talking to him. I blocked him and that was it. So we, guys... we, we, we never broke up like it's over. I just walked away. Okay. Yeah. And you wrote on your, the same Insta story. Mm -hmm. That um, if Obi Nisika, if someone didn't have money, mm -hmm. or me DM you. Yeah. What are okay. you selling that only rich men should okay. DM you? I'm tired of taking care of myself. Let's just put it like that. I need someone to come and take care of me now. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you're looking for like a rich man? Whether he's rich, whether he's um, successful in whatever he's doing. He could be a banker, but just a generous person. There are so many rich people who are not generous. So you're looking for... A man now, best pending on you. A man, yes. Why you are love you, me. Is he your father? <laughs> no, no. So no. why do you come and support No, because you? that's the duty of every man. You need to provide for your woman. You need to take care of your woman. You need to provide for your woman and you need to support her. Okay. That, is, that is just the duty of every man. Okay. And I'm tired of dating guys that wouldn't do these things. You understand? Okay. They're all about, I love you, I love you, I love you. And that's about it. Now, I want to see that I love you. People don't take you seriously. They think you're some... Girl, they can just pick up and have sex with Yeah, and yeah, of course. Just move on. Of course. You know there's just, that thing. Yeah. Just yesterday, I received um, an Instagram message from a guy. He, um, he said that um, he wants me to be the brand ambassador of his company, which is some solar system or whatnot. Mm -hmm. Sorry. So I gave him my email address, and he sent me a full proposal. He was so attracted. So I gave him my number, and then the guy was like, okay, yeah, I want you to be the brand ambassador for this, and this is what we have for you. But then, you know, I want us to have a relationship, like I want to get intimate with you. And I'm like, sorry, I'm not interested in that. I, I actually have a message, you know. So I hung, up, like, I hung up on him, and I sent him a message. I said, thanks for the offer, but I'm not interested. And the man sent me a message. He was like, okay, how about I give you $150,000 for a weekend? I could show you that message right now. I did not delete it mm -hmm. right now. You know, so the thing is that I get offers like that every single day. Wait, what, what do you think you're doing wrong until people see you as just an, excuse me to use the word, mm -hmm. as an ashawu? Yeah, well, the thing is that everybody with their own opinions. Okay. People see me as an ashawu. People, some see me as an actress. Some love me. Some hate me. That's the same thing it is. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. I was wondering, mm -hmm. when you become an old woman, yes. how's your waist, your waist and your body equation? Okay, so how is it going to work out? Okay, so first of all, mm -hmm. we need to pray mm -hmm. to God to give us long life. We'll have long yes, life. Yes, mm -hmm. so that you and I will still be alive to witness that moment, and then you will see how my waist will look like. 
Okay. How about that? Because <laughs> I don't know nothing about the future right now. I don't know how I will look like when I'm old. So let's play, pray for long life and good health, and then we'll get there. You see my waist. Princess, <laughs> you are, you're a sweet-spirited woman. Thank you. And, I mean, I enjoy talking to you off the screen yeah. and now here. Yeah, yeah. Your energy is really sweet. Thank and you. It was nice having you. And thanks for having me. I sent you up for Vodafone Green Card. Yeah. Because I know I I signed up for Vodafone Green because I believed in self-reliance. I chose a course in T-shirt printing. It went through the process step by step, so it helped me a lot. I was called by Vodafone Vim that I have been selected to receive an award and the training at Newark. I had a deeper understanding. I was really taught what t-shirt printing was. I would advise everybody who is sitting at home, not doing anything, to sign on to Vodafone Vim program, to be trained in whatever course he selects. Vim Day! You too! You're going to feel me calm! The future is exciting. Ready? Fire over. Fire over. Ah, Charlie, why you not it? Masa, Masa, make you look and disturb me at the play game. I know now we see if he has one way of a training bar. We will try me cook. We will try to get into the room to delay my grand. We will try to do not know what to do. Yeah, what do you want, Papa? Masa, okay. I mean, can't you walk on? She doesn't want to try to drink. I don't want tomato sauce. I don't want to eat ice cream. Masa, what do you say? Jola, Deko. Masa, okay. Delay mackerel in tomato sauce. Nampa, don't pay me. Yet now, say, I wore Alisa Hotel as a Swiss spirit, and I did delay show a brave war. Now, would have found that Roman Hessian on Callis and I a corner, a canobina, this a program they buy the cocoa tree at one. I know I say, she says, what a Vodafone Vim, and a Vodafone cash, a boy. Mackerel, ah, a de, Sardinia, a de, a noon swear de, eh, any friend said delay. Tachi mai, also we have my kileje, ye wo tamale, ye wo kumase nan, poku trading, Jacob Abekan, Tina Abekan, Santec, eh, PPC, any other wholesalers, any distributors, baby, wa so ye mwa, obwa ma dile ma kandile sa di, ne ti me, enge babi pe babi, na etu mi ejina. Yas, ye wo ne mint, heavy flow, normal flow, herbal, ye wo baby diaper, baby wipes, washing powder, toothpaste, toothbrush, and not a dear shemedi, me patrol, a miami brother in law, Doctor Uto Sebajam, or Electra or Kivas, and a Calvin Klein, shut up a bee, or told the chair, me kind of wouldn't do it, you so. Into no doc, me chow, my brother in law, no, no. Na eh, me make up shine and shadows, or ye at the mammy, or war school junction on your right, or corner, uniform ho, like I say, fe fe fe, a horse now call, now do at two ye. Other brain in ye. That must be brave. You ain't shut that sending, my crumb.